Hi friends, Dr. Nancy Trimbley, putting the power and knowledge of your health back in your hands. What if you have scoliosis? Now scoliosis, um, let me just do a screen search for you just for, um, so I can relay this accurately. Scoliosis is a curvature of the spine that goes left to right. And um, there are a variety of um, severities uh, I actually, when I am out of alignment, I have a 10 degree scoliosis curve in my mid back, but you would never know it by looking at me. Some people have severe scoliosis. Some people have a um, an S curve scoliosis. And I'm looking for an image right now for you of an S curve. Let's see. Well, let's see. Here's a pretty good one. Let me screen share screen with you. And um so here we are from left to right, healthy is on the left. This is a, a version of what I have in the mid back, very mild. And here it shows somebody with a mild version in the lower back. This next one is covers almost the whole spine. And here's what they're calling a combined scoliosis. So it goes left in the upper back, right in the lower back. Here's a little tivia tidbit, tidbit for you. Uh, they're showing this... Um, scoliosis left in the mid back and right in the lower back. Um, and that's not commonly what it is. 75% of the time, the, this, the mid back curvature goes to the right. And I think, is that your right? I don't know. This is mirror image. I don't know. Anyway, the mid back scoliosis 75% of the time goes to the right. Uh, so this image right here of somebody, this is more common. So the mid back goes to the right and then the scoliosis to the left or the lower back goes to the left. Here's an image of somebody. Um, now this is a child and this has to be from, this has to be from a spinal abnormality at birth because we don't see this in children like this in my practice typically. Um, let's see. Um, I have uh, done x-rays in the past of children that have severe scoliosis um, genetic um, tendencies in their family. And I will not x-ray them until they are uh, four years old, meaning they can stand and run on their own. They're standing on their own two feet. Uh, that was back in the day when I did a lot of specialties in children. So I'm not really finding anything that's fantastic here. Um, let me go back up to this one. Here's a great image here. Um, this shows a fairly severe uh, scoliosis and it shows it right to uh, right in the mid back. So that's the most common. This one, this person actually had surgery. Uh, nope, this is a different person. Anyway, I wanted to talk about surgery. This is what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about people that have had a surgery for their scoliosis. The scoliosis here, you can see the surgical site. You can see these metal rods. To the left is them before surgery. To the right is after surgery. And these rods are implanted under the skin. They are screwed into the vertebrae. And I, yes, I have seen this in my practice multiple times. Um, the problem with having uh, scoliosis, and they um, the medical conventional medical model doesn't do anything with the scoliosis until the curve reaches 35 degrees or more. The reason why it becomes an issue is because if it is at 35 degrees and it goes beyond that, then you get compromise of the lungs, the digestive organs, and things are um, smashed and your lung volume can get decreased and it if it gets bad enough, it can be life-threatening because of that. So that's why these surgeries are done. Um, now you say to me, well, how can you work on that? What do you work on if their spine is fused to totally together? Uh, and true, there is less area for me to work on, but in this particular person, I can work on everything from the surgery site up. And so for this person, it would be um, right around the upper back right here above the shoulder blades. I can work from there up. And for this person, I can uh, work from about their waistline and down. 
And you may recall if you've watched my previous video on spinal fusion surgeries of the lower back, when we take 24 movable vertebrae and we fuse them together into one piece, the stresses of life are no longer divided amongst 24 movable vertebrae. They are, for this person whose x-rays I was just showing you, the stresses of life are only now able to go to the seven to nine vertebrae above that surgery. And it looks like the three vertebrae and the pelvis below the fusion surgery. So that means above and below those fusions, that means there's going to be accelerated arthritis. There's gonna be accelerated, um, there's gonna be more issues and pain above and below. And this is why these, these people that have had these fusion surgeries absolutely positively need to have a chiropractor to keep those areas of the spine healthy and keep them able to absorb the stresses of life. And it is completely safe. There is no possible way that a chiropractor could damage or move those fusion rods and screws. There is no way. That is probably the strongest area of the body. Even so, with those patients that come to my office, I always use a low force to no force technique. And if you're curious about those, check out our technique playlist on my YouTube channel or go to our website, trimbleychiro.net, and uh, we have videos on our new patient page related to the techniques that we do. Uh, so I hope that helps if you know somebody that has had this surgery, if you have had this surgery, please share this video with them. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you hear about my future videos. Bye for now. Hi friends, do you want more? Do you love how I take complex topics and distill them down into their most actionable steps so you can make change today? Do you want more? Come with me, be an insider, be a connected insider in Undercover Vitality, our online community where I share all the secrets. Nothing, nothing is held back. Come on, meet me there.